if the three of us are all gonna dance at the same time, then I, I, I need to top up. Just give me a second. <laughs> Let me slip into something more comfortable. There we go. I'm not ready. I think I slipped into a coma. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Joe's coming. Here we go. And there's the jump kick. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the most alcohol-fueled, misdemeanor-filled series on the internet. Three random games. And we'll start things off with a game called Drunken Dad Simulator, where your wife made you take the kids to a birthday party and you thought maybe half a dozen beers would be able to get you through it, but you could really use a half dozen more. Oh, and you're also a bear. I tried to tell her that it was a bad idea for us to go to a party hosted by rabbits and squirrels. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure everybody here is technically food to us, but that being said, I can't eat anyone, okay? I'm gonna try my best to just drink half a dozen more beers, pass out, and then hibernate away the rest of this party, because if I do devour a guest, then my wife is gonna become unbearable. Hello, fellow parents! I don't suppose you're serving beer with that barbecue, are ya? Just gonna mosey on up and check, don't mind me. Excuse me? Try that again, Peter Cottontail. You're one more ball boxing away from the full-blown Qui-Gon Jinn treatment of getting mauled. I don't think they actually have any beer on the deck, but there is a beer on the shed. I really hope this thing has an elevator, because I'm having a hard enough time just walking on flat ground. <laughs> Maybe... Uh... Oh! I mean... Yeah, that kind of works. <laughs> Nothing quite says happy birthday, Timmy, like a massive explosion and watching your parents get turned to mulch. <laughs> uh, I didn't ruin the party. It wasn't my doing. Don't mind me. Ooh, another beer. <laughs> so there was beer in the shed and beer on the shed. So how are we supposed to get up there? I mean, just because I can't jump and can barely walk doesn't mean that I can't bounce. <laughs> You don't mind if I cut in line, do you, wheelchair kids? If I go first, I might vomit, but if you go first, you might puncture the castle. So just hope that your parents own a mop. I, I, I think we'll be, oh, fine. Oh, okay, no, every, everything, everything is under control. We just gotta bounce our way over here. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> now, how do I get down? I didn't plan this far ahead. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't feel anything. That kid has a steak embedded between his eyes and a hot dog through his brain. <laughs> and that's making me hungry, but not hungry for kids. So I'm thinking maybe we grab ourselves some barbecue. You two don't mind, do you? You better not, unless you want to become lawn clippings like the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Nothing like beers and barbecues. Uh, it's really hard without opposable thumbs. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was swiping the propane tank. And I totally did that on purpose because I wanted it to rain meat. <laughs> okay, like I, I know it might seem a little extreme to burn a tree down just to get the beer out of it, but it's not like the local arborist is gonna lose his mind. Considering between the explosion and the lawnmower, he's pretty much dog food now. Well, the line for the bouncy castle cleared up real quick. <laughs> I'm starting to think I might not need to drink myself into an unconscious stupor. Like, this party's pretty nuts. I wasn't expecting pyrotechnics and trains. Ooh, and more beer. Don't mind if I do. This might be the easiest one yet. Yeah, didn't have to blow anything up, all right. Four down, two more to go. That's a very large, glowy cake. Let's suppose somebody baked a beer into it. I can see the bottle floating around in there. <laughs> so how am I gonna ruin this child's cake just to have another drink? I don't have a problem, shut up. I realize this train is moving at the speed of smell and pulsating like my stomach, but I'm thinking maybe if we direct it towards the cake table, then it would help me out a little bit. 
There's a reason that woodland critters don't have very high-tech railway systems, and I get the feeling this is gonna be one of them. It's not even on the rails. <laughs> Look out! Oh! I could have warned them. Then again, it's like getting hit by a Tonka truck. <laughs> There's my drink. That's just gonna mosey off into the sunset, I suppose. Should I follow it? Is it gonna take out a porta potty? Oh, uh, it's gonna take out a giant group of children. Oh no! <laughs> Get out of the way! <laughs> I regret nothing. I regret a little bit. Well, this is the only part of the party that I haven't drunkenly ransacked, and clearly my wife is gonna be pissed no matter what, so I might as well be in for a penny, in for a pound. I think I just evaporated his drum set. <laughs> That's not gonna stop him, ow. Okay, the symbols are in my butt. Uh, I'm having a trouble seeing, and I don't think it's because of the drinks. I, I just wanna smack the rabbits, oh. Okay, maybe we can have the music stop? Yeah, no, no more music! Oh, boo yourselves! Boo yourselves! Come on, who wants some? Oh! Oh! Thank you! If anybody needs me, I'll be asleep under a picnic bench! Yes, and please drink responsibly. You know, if you're gonna kill everybody at a child's birthday party, then you can cut yourself off at six. Three random games. Our next game is called Drunken Fist, where we're gonna be playing as Hobo Joe, who just left the pub for the night, and he's very happy to see that the only thing on the street's menu is freshly prepared knuckle sandwiches. Hey there, pretty boy. That, that's a fancy car you got driven into that storefront. I don't suppose I could introduce you to the lefty. Oh, you missed her. Hold on. You, you, you really are gonna want to meet her. Don't tell anyone, but for five bucks, she's known to tickle a pickle. Now pee on him. <laughs> Nothing quite says welcome to varsity like a puddle of hobo pee. Ooh, street burger. Don't mind if I do. Oh, you want some too, do you, smart guy? Okay, well, you get the jump kick. <laughs> Joe, why are you so good at this? What kind of weird hobo taekwondo have you been practicing? How about we give him uh, one of these and, and, and a little of that as the good stuff? And you can have some too, you're welcome. If the three of us are all gonna dance at the same time, then I, I, I need to top up. Just give me a second. Let me slip into something more comfortable. There we go, I'm not ready. I think I slipped into a coma. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Joe's coming. Here we go. And there's the jump kick. <laughs> oh, ow. Ow, ears aren't supposed to bleed like that. Hold on. Maybe we can do like a, an uppercut. Where's, where's the uppercut? And, and, you know, just like aim with your elbows, Joe. A little, little something like that. Oh, that's pretty good. That wasn't bad. It was a bit of a noodle arm, but... That's what I'm talking about, and we really need this right now. It's fine, it's fine, everything is totally fine. You're all right, you'll be able to sleep it off. You're better than my legs. I don't think I missed that street burger. I'm coming back for you any minute now. It's like that old ball gargler Dolores always says, you can never have too much street meat. There we go, okay, Joe's ready. Now, how about we try a little, oh, yeah, caught you off guard there, didn't I? I'm fast for an old guy, now, uppercut. Swing for the fences, hey. Some sweet chin music, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I'm drinking a whole lot, it, it, it just kinda comes out of me. I'll be taking that as my prize. Oh, three of them, oh. Okay, I think I broke my spine in my own pee puddle. I'll be with you two spiky ladies in just a moment, as soon as I figure out why the pavement is so damn comfy this time of night. <laughs> Joe's coming, Joe's old, okay? Just give give him a little bit of a time. Hey, hey, who throws rocks? What, what, what is wrong with you? Here, take some of that. Here we go, kick him while he's down, Joe. Don't, don't let him get back up. No, no, we're not about those fair fights. 
<laughs> you literally piss on your victims. This should be well known by now. There you go. A bit of a rabbit punch. We're not above it. And you could have the one, two, and follow that up with an upper punch. And, and, and maybe some of the air we go. I think I'm getting the hang of this. It's a little difficult because time is perceived in slow motion and I got more street burgers, but nothing else to drink. Oh, there's something to drink. Oh, first I gotta talk to you, Fox, okay? <laughs> it's so difficult. <laughs> Just turning around is the hardest part. Ow, okay. Yeah, felt that one. Don't know how much longer we're gonna be able to keep on going if we take licks like that. Am I seeing colors right now? I think my vision is blurred. Did he punch me between the eyes? <laughs> oh, I need to pee. Oh, that was a, a pee problem. I had noticed it had been a while. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, what are you guys looking at? You want to die? Oh, the pee paw got me again. I'm coming for your street booze. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that guy died before he even realized what was happening. You could have, what a, did you, oh, hold on, hold on, it, it's coming, it's coming, it's in the mail, it's on the way, the postage has been licked, and so will you. Uh, oh, yeah. <gasps> what is happening right now? I, I can't see anything. How about we try a little something like a, a combo? I, I think we could, uh, com combo? Hold on, I, I know a punch combo. I was taught as a young man, just a what cha cha there we go. I don't have a combo, but I could definitely kick you in the face while you're getting back up. Something like this. Come on, come on, come on. Take it, take it, take it. One time only, 100% off, royalty free. Come on, please, please just stop kissing me. There we go. Everything hurts. Everything sucks. Oh, but I have a beer, so we're good. I really need to take on like the whole dance squad. What is happening right now? Okay, hold on, hold on. It, it's coming, jo Joe's coming now. Just gonna prepare. Yeah, you guys like what you see? <laughs> That's what I thought. Now, going over this way, and I'm ready. Who's up first? You? Is it you? I think it's, oh crap, no. I, I really need to like, oh, this is a problem. This, this is a big problem. <laughs> Joe, we might be in over our head right now. I think you can one, two, punch everybody into the dirt. Oh, Okay, uh, wasn't really expecting that out of him, not gonna lie. <laughs> He's yeah. dropping people left and right. <laughs> How is this happening? How is he able to fight like an MMA star when he can barely stand? <laughs> he doesn't even know where they are. They're standing behind him and he's just swinging at ghosts. Like a fart in the wind. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go, turn, turn. It's like turning a ship, I swear. I have better luck fighting Ooh. in the streets with an aircraft carrier. Now, you, just gonna give you a, a quick one, two, three, four. That's the good stuff. We might want to eat. I think eating helps with the pain. Is that is that right? A little bit of something like that, and we're, we're good to go. Okay, we're just gonna release, and is that a police officer? Here comes the final boss, Jill. <laughs> you got this. I'm thinking we've run up, we surprise him with a jump kick. Everybody gets surprised by the jump kick. Not the double jump kick, though. We don't want to get greedy. It's very easy to get greedy. <laughs> Just uh, hit him with, with one of, uh, no, no, not like that. No, Joe, Joe, you're done. You're not following the plan, Joe. <laughs> Come on, the fuzz is gonna take you out real quick unless you, you, you give him the jump kick. Okay, fine, I guess we're dead. Three random games. Our final game for today is called Guilty, where we're gonna be sentencing people to drunken and disorderly conduct. Except for Joe, his funeral is tomorrow. Order in the court. It's 8.30 in the morning, apparently. Way too early for this shit. <laughs> but it looks like we've got some assault charges on the docket today. Except the only piece of paperwork I've been handed reads a guilty weapon. Whatever that means. <laughs> What kind of monkey brain lawyer wrote this? Okay, just send them in. All of them. I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna be a quantity over quality kind of courts. <laughs> well, you, sir, I, I've got a good feeling about you. Strong intuition. I like the cut of your jib. Therefore, you must be innocent, right? And However, you brought the ax that you used to chop up your wife. So guilty? I don't 
think that's how court works, but we'll roll with this. Yeah, you're probably innocent. I'm not gonna pat you down or anything like that. You look like you've killed a couple of kids in your day, but... <laughs> can't prove it, therefore innocent. Now, ma'am, I'm not supposed to say this. I'm technically supposed to be impartial, but at the same time, have you ever thought about not bringing evidence to your own trial? Like, I'm gonna let you off with a warning in exchange for your phone number. How about that? I, I know what some of you guys are thinking. The saying is don't stick your dick in crazy, not don't stick your dick in guilty. Okay, order in the course. It's three o'clock in the afternoon now, long friggin' morning. I keep telling them I want to be paid in Canadian dollars or American dollars, not gemstones. <laughs> I guess I can use them to buy myself a bailiff? Yeah, you'll come in handy the next time one of them tries to stab me. Seems like this time we're going to be keeping an eye out for dirty hands. Because as we all know, whether you're a gardener, a serial killer, or a mechanic, you go to jail. <laughs> Bring him in. Oh, Jesus. I, I thought they were going to be like dirty grimy, not dirty farty. Uh, you can go to... Oh, no. I meant to... I wanted to send him to jail. You would think that left jail, right innocent would be simple, but even I managed to screw things up. <laughs> How dirty are your hands? They look okay. Uh, could you maybe get that last guy to come back? I, I made a mistake, damn it. Okay, fine. You're good, ma'am. What do those hands do, though? Um, no, yeah, you can go to the left. Thank you, Balin. <laughs> really don't want any of them touching me unless I ask them to. You can touch me. How <laughs> about you come around and... I, I, I keep getting two stars. And, like, uh, half a hammer, maybe? <laughs> At least they started to pay me in dollars now. Oh, I only delivered a verdict. Now I need to give them a punishment. <laughs> well, nobody gets away with calling me a dollar pound at percent. Ten years manual labor to each of you and your families. <laughs> Listen, if this is going to be a kangaroo court, then we might as well be North Korea. The prison is too full. Let's put guilty people to work. Making prisoners build a prison is some pretty deliciously ironic stuff. I like it. <laughs> so, I guess we can just send them all in there and they'll get to work? I like it. I can even spend some of my money to increase how many we can put in there. I see how this is gonna go. <laughs> so if anything, I have an incentive for recruiting more construction workers or sentencing people to manual labor or whatever you want to call it. Yes, yes, order in the court 8.30 in the morning again. Look, why can't we push this until lunch? They're not going anywhere. <laughs> Looks like this time we've got some bank robbers. Okay, and they'll be guilty if they have bloody clothes. Okay, send them in, easy enough. Have they changed? Oh no, we have a scanner. All right, don't worry, sir. It's only a little radiation. Have mercy. You could have just said that it was like a, a nosebleed or you cut your finger. Okay, maybe not you specifically because you got a whole chunk of people on you, but <laughs> you didn't have to straight up admit guilt. I hope you like building stuff. Uh, Ma'am, you got anything interesting under that dress? Or maybe some evidence? No? Okay, well fine. Back to being Walmart's mascot for you, I suppose. Uh, how about you? Anything at all? You look like you're getting ready to be in some kind of K-pop music video. I'll see you later. <laughs> like, I, I should be able to spot blood without a scanner. Come on, these things sort of stand out. And I'm having a, a whole lot of innocent people this time. I need builders. Are you a builder? Oh, like, that could be a guilty thing. That could be a time of the month thing. Either way, I'm, I'm gonna hand you a hammer, or a, half a hammer, I suppose. <laughs> Still haven't earned myself a full hammer. Uh, yeah, okay, you're guilty, easy enough. And then, if we only have two stars, and there's only one person left, then we know she's guilty, right? So I don't even need to waste the scan. Oh! Oh, I get stars for choosing innocent correctly as well. <laughs> All right, it's fine. It just means I get another worker. This is actually really clever. Like right now, I only have room for maybe three more workers, but we've got six coming, which means I guess I would just have to let half of them go. 
<laughs> or I could find them all and then use that money to get equipment for tomorrow's workers, aka tomorrow's trial. So we're gonna do that. We'll, we'll find each of you, get a whole bunch of money, and then... Oh, they built City Hall! Okay, so we're just straight up contracting them out to the environment. I, I thought they were gonna build a bigger prison. You, you just keep getting more prisoners to build a bigger prison to house more prisoners. <laughs> and it just kind of feeds itself infinite profits. I, I guess not. I don't think these people realize how early 8.30 in the morning is. It means I need to get up at like 6. No, I gotta straighten out my wig, I gotta powder my face, get my lazy ass in here, and spend my gemstones to buy a bench. Okay, a bench with a couple of people. Did the people come with the bench? Is, is Ikea into human trafficking? Should we be looking into that? Either way, we've got counterfeiting on the docket. Anybody wearing a white jacket? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> That's surprising. Um, that would be yellow, right? Or did you just pee on it? You take the old Hobo Joe approach, that way you wouldn't be found guilty? Uh, no, no, okay, it actually was yellow. Now that's white, but is it technically a jacket? I think it's a jacket. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, we've, I need to remember to keep track though. Okay, we've got one, now two. I can only house five. You look like a very competent worker, but you're wearing an orange jacket. Hmm, I'll take you anyway. I, th I think I can risk it. <laughs> Innocent, yes, keep moving. You didn't see anything. I'll be on your way. All right, see you later. And then you are guilty. And what about the couple hanging out over here? Are, are you waiting to get married or something? Why is he not wearing pants? It's a long day, man, I'm telling you. I cannot get over the fact that these people will not leave my damn courtroom. <laughs> All right, more counterfeiting. People that have been seen at the mall. What have they been counterfeiting? Like, lady, you making magic cards? Tap to question the suspect. Okay, I was at the mall. So you're just admitting to it. All right, then come this way. <laughs> Idiots, what about you? I ate dinner at the mall. That is also at the mall, conveniently. <laughs> I can't take many more people sleeping all day. Sure you were. So I'm just taking their word. If they're dumb enough to admit to being guilty, then they were guilty? At the hospital. The hospital in the mall? I'm gonna assume innocent, but okay, good. A little tricky there for a second. <laughs> the mall? I worked there. Guilty enough for me! How about you, ma'am? What have you been up to today? The mall? Yep, yeah, everybody's at the mall. A fun fashion, they've got it all at the mall, as well as guilt. <gasps> I got like 15 people coming, and I don't know how they're gonna build anything with a baseball bat. What happened to the hammer? All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Three Random Games, guys. I gotta cut it off somewhere. I didn't expect this last game to be so big. But there's actually a lot to it. I don't know if it will get repetitive or not, but if you wanna see Guilty become its own video, then be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, keep giving me recommendations for stuff to play in Three Random Games as well. I constantly want to make these videos, but I can't find stuff. It takes forever, so your help is greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.